Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm back here at Sioka Ford in Lawrenceville, New Jersey to check out a brand new 2023 Ford Transit Connect six passenger van in the XL trim. I figured why not take a shot? Let's bring the Transit Connect to everybody on YouTube, see what it's all about. See if this is something that would fit into your lifestyle, or if you're looking at this from a commercial purpose, maybe it's going to fit into your business. So let's dig in. All right, the front end of this 2023 Transit Connect color is frozen white metallic. Standard lighting. There's no LEDs. Standard lighting for everything up front. No fog lamps here on the XL trim. Flat black on the grill plain and simple, obviously targeted for commercial use. All right, wheel and tire setup on this Transit Connect. We have a 16 inch steel wheel. What you see there in front of you with the Ford badge on it is a plastic hubcap. Behind that is the steer, steel wheel, standard brake and rotor package, tire size, all season Continentals, 215 on the width, a 55 series sidewall, 16s, all four corners, front wheel drive. All right, full side profile on this 2023 Transit Connect. Looks like a vehicle you'd get a ride from the rental car place to the airport to catch your plane. That's what I, this reminds me of is an airport transport vehicle. But you know what? It works. Ford sells a bunch of Transit Connects commercially. I like even though it's a bus looking vehicle, I do like how the design is raked back to front with the hard body line going through the door handles. And I like that black underneath on the bottoms of each door. Gives it a little bit of style. The flat black on the front bumper area and the rear bumper area, and then all flat black around the window surrounds. It gives it a pretty nice looking look for what it's built for. Let me know what you think in the comments. All right, moving in closer, flat black on the side view mirror, flat black on the door handles, a right side fuel filler cap, up top, all body color, and then we have that horrendous looking antenna sticking off the front of the roof rather than a shark fin on the back. That's some serious old school action. All right, the back end of this Transit Connect, well, we have panel doors that pull open. You have two windshield wipers, one for each side of the window. Transit connect on the left side, Ford on the right, long wheelbase down below as this is the long wheelbase. And we have a single exhaust that's tucked up, or up underneath the left side of the vehicle. Standard lighting in the back as well. All right, we are under the hood of this 2023 Transit Connect. And what do we have for a power plant? We have a two liter naturally aspirated inline four cylinder engine mated to an eight speed automatic transmission. 162 horsepower, 144 pound feet of torque, MPGs 24 in the city, 28 on the highway, 26 combined. The engine's minimum octane rating is 87, so you can run this on regular unleaded gas. All right, before we get to the interior of this Transit Connect, you're going to want to know, Mike, how much does this cost? Well, MSRP, the way this XL trim is optioned, you're looking at a total MSRP of $36,100. So let's check out the interior. Moving into the footbox area, you do have a dead pedal, brake and accelerator, all rubber finish. We do have manual adjustment for both front seats. We have vinyl seats that are black. Black vinyl, a little bit of a design, but very work-like in its construction. And it's designed to take a beating from a lot of, a lot of miles being put on this and whatever kind of work duty it may do. Door panel action, we have hard plastic up top, black door handle, flat black on the switch gear, fairly semi-soft armrest, I'll give it that. 
Moving to the dash, we have hard plastic up top, a little black design in here, and then underneath we do have the, the huge glove box, so that works. The infotainment, we don't have infotainment in this. Now this is another indication this is a work truck, work van, I should say. So basically we have this little teeny weeny four inch screen where you can Bluetooth your phone, Right, you can play your music through the Bluetooth that way. We don't have any Apple CarPlay. We don't have any Android Auto. We don't have any navigation. We don't have anything like that at all on this infotainment system. It's basically Bluetooth in your phone for phone calls and music and then listening to the radio is pretty much what this is going to do. Moving down, here's your hard controls for your radio. We have our four-way hazards. Moving down, we do have dual climate control, which I like. As you can see, there's the dual climate action, so I like that. And then down here, here is the gear shift to go through this eight-speed automatic transmission. We have eco mode, we have traction control off, we have engine stop start off. Now. You have to use a key for this. There is no push button start. So as you can see, the key is in the ignition barrel and the car is turned on. As we move down further, we have a 12 volt and a USB-A. So that's a nice touch. We have a manual emergency brake, two cup holders, a fairly soft armrest. And as we open that up, a nice place in here for storage. Now, backup camera is gonna look really small. So if we go to reverse, there's our backup camera, but it's nice and clear with trajectory, but it's a very, very small screen. All right, here's our Ford steering wheel. We have a soft touch steering wheel, no leather wrap, Ford badge in the middle, very, very plain. On the left, you can control your dashboard. On the right, you can control your telephone and voice commands. Here's our cruise control down here. So that's all right. We have some silver trim here instead of gloss black, which I think is all right. We have our left stalk here for our directionals. And then on the right, we have our windshield wiper controls for front and back. And then down here on the left, you can brighten and dim the dash. And then your headlight controls right there. And here is the dash. It is a analog digital combo. We have analog gauges for your speedometer, tachometer, fuel level, and coolant temperature, and then a small four-inch display in the center, which is going to give you your trip information. It's going to give you your uh, average miles to empty and those sorts of things. So very, very tire pressures, very limited, but again, very easy to use. All right, overhead console time. Regular interior lights, no LED. If you would like to, the lights to come on and off when you open and close the door, this button needs to be set in the center on this center line. Then when you open the door, the light will come on. Close the door, the light will go off. Now, there's no roof in here, but there's storage up above your head in this area up here, above the driver's head. So if you want to throw stuff up there, you can huge sun visors in this vehicle no vanity and then you can pull these back and do they slide no so there's no sliding action on the visors standard rear view mirror all right getting in the second row behind the driver and front passenger we have the sliding door you pull this and then the door will slide back and lock in place and now you can get in to that second row Getting into the second row, nice and easy, no problem. This seat is set for my driving position. I have plenty of knee space at 5 foot 11, plenty of shoulder width room. Down below, we do have a 12 volt and, oh, come on. There it goes. And a home power source with heat and air. So that's all right for an XL. And then we have a pocket behind the driver's seat, no pocket behind the pa front passenger seat, door panels in the back, same as the front, and both doors on either side of the van will slide open. So again, another indication, this is a great 
van for anybody who needs something for work in the trades that kind of thing or a company that needs something for transportation like an airporter so it's all right though here in this mid row and i got huge amounts of room up on the roof as you can see that roof goes way up so you have plenty of headspace and it's got a nice soft headliner to it too even though it's you know probably just regular cloth it still feels good to the touch all right accessing the third row well you can either slide into the mid row seat and then walk in between the two seats or you can let this down like that using this over here then you pull the middle and move it forward like that and now you can step on in to this transit connect that way now that seats down in front of you and it would have to be put back up i can't do that with one hand unfortunately but now we are in the third row we have cup holder we have a heat and air vent no connectivity back here but not surprising in this type of vehicle and my legs are quite high so this is not a great spot for large people to sit back here in this third row but if you're using it for a airporter then it's okay because you're only going to be in it for a few minutes all right to open up the back of the transit connect you just walk up to it you unlock it with the key fob and boom pull it this one opens to the right a little lever in here opens up this door to the left now you have plenty of room in here for some suitcases and stuff that you loaded in here at the rental car agency and now you need to get them back out once you get to your terminal and here we go with the non-led lighting in the back but we do have some and we got a 12 volt here for power which is very very interesting but there's a good amount of space back here now these third row seats will go down and this piece will pop out once the seat goes down to flatten this out but it's a two-piece operation i'm going to climb in the back of this transit connect the first piece of it is you need to pull the seat back and push it down with that seat moved up forward to push it down and then you need to push this piece down on top of that and once that is done then this can pop out and then everything will be flat for more space but I have my doubts that this van is going to be used like that very much it's probably going to use for passengers but it's a very laborious process to get this third row down but once you do you get a good amount of space and then you got to manually put all the seats back so it is work to get that it is a very old school technology but overall it's a really good amount of space and there's a lot of height since this is a very boxy van all right here's the window sticker for this 2023 Ford Transit Connect XL Wagon Long Wheelbase, six passengers. So feel free to pause the video, see everything that's optioned into this car. And now, let's take it out for a spin. All right, here we are in this Ford Transit Connect van. XL trim very basic stuff and I like to just call it the airporter maybe that's what I'll title this review is the airporter because this is what I'm used to seeing when I need to go catch a plane and I'm getting a ride to the airport with some other people at least that's just how I feel about it let me know what you guys think in the comments but these transit connect vans in all seriousness are really really popular look at that thing that two liter just rocks yeah. these transit connect vans are really really popular 
I gotta get my pardon me I gotta get this mirror set this thing is is really big but they're very popular with businesses I've seen plumbers with these converted to what they need I've seen you know carpenters HVAC guys with these uh, with these types of vehicles I even see these big with cycling teams having these outfit for their cycling team so when they go to a meet or a race they can bring their uh, repair gear and everything for the bikes and get them ready to race. So I've seen this used for a lot of different purposes. Um, not so much with the uh, with the um, personal use. so much with personal use uh, but you know what it drives pretty good you get visibility out the wazoo in here you got glass all over the place except on the roof and you can see great out of the windows out of the windshield one thing you don't get with this basic XL is you don't get any safety suite action we don't have blind spot monitoring we don't have lane keep assist cross traffic alert or any of that kind of stuff in here. So it is bare when it comes to that sort of thing, which I'm not a big fan of. I would like to see at least some safety uh, inside every car, even if it's just a plain old base model commercial transit connect. I, I just think it should be there for safety purposes, even though I can see a lot. I mean, I don't even have side view mirrors in this XL that I can adjust from inside the car. I have to roll the window down and manually adjust the side view mirror with my hand to get it where I want it. That's how basic this vehicle is. But if you're looking for this for your business, I think it is, you know, right in the, in, in, on the mark for that type of of thing. Uh, personal use, I, I don't see it so much. But it doesn't drive half bad. You get a lot of wind noise. You get a lot of road noise. That's just it, you know, with this thing. Um, there is not a lot of sound deadening in here. And there's a big echo in here when you talk because there's such a huge volume of space in here with this high, high roof. So uh, that's another thing that uh, makes it feel really roomy and airy in here, even though it is a very, very uh, uh, noisy car otherwise. But it's got the two liter inline four, and it's got the eight speed automatic, so the gas mileage isn't half bad. You can use regular unleaded, which is always a plus. So, we're going to see, this is quite slow. I think the 0 to 60 estimate is almost 10 seconds. <laughs> so here we go. That's just 50. And now we're up to 60 and we're going down the road. So yeah, it's slow. It's plunky. But... You know, if you're using this for commercial purposes and you're driving to an address, you got all your stuff, and you're going to do some work at somebody's house, this will, this will be just fine. This will be just fine. And I wanted to take a, a shot at doing a review like this. I mean, I don't see Transit Connects out on YouTube, and I figured why the heck not, since they have this one in, give it a try. Why not give it a try and, and uh, see if people are interested in seeing a different kind of vehicle and the Transit Connect is certainly a different kind of vehicle. And, and if, you, if you just want a van, this isn't a half bad plain old van to haul your family around in if that's what you want to do. You just go up in trims. You get out of the XL, you go up in trims and you get more stuff like a navigation system, like some safety tech, like blind spot and all that other stuff. But then, of course, if you're going up in trims, you're going to go 
up in price to most likely well over 40 grand and then you got to tell yourself is this really worth 40 G's or why don't I just buy an Explorer or something like that if I want it if I want that so that's why I think this is going to do much better in the commercial space rather than the the personal uh, use vehicle but overall not a bad driving car doesn't handle well it's a bit noisy but it's going to take you and your passengers to wherever you would like to go or if you get one converted in the back for cargo then you can use it that way but I think I'm going to call this review the airporter because that's what this reminds me of is going to the airport so with that <coughs> I'd like to thank Sioka Ford here in Lawrenceville New Jersey for allowing the channel access to this 2023 Ford Transit Connect for review today I'd like to thank all of you for watching if you enjoyed this video please consider giving it a like please also consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell so you'll never miss another Shabby's Rides video and I'll see all of you on the rebound. Take care, everyone.